What's going on YouTube? This is Lorian Hamster coming from Just a Tech Guy. I want to welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button. So it helps out the channel. So today's topic, I just want to get into something that I saw on the internet. Let me, matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull that up here. Uh, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so there's this story that's been going on. So there was this lady, six-year-old kid, who racked up sixteen thousand dollars. Here, here's, here's a few. So you can go to Google's and see Apple is not giving a refund on it, so they won't be refunding this. So a six-year-old had racked up sixteen thousand dollars on his mom's credit card playing Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know about you, but that is a lot of freaking money just to play a game. Now you, you can get. PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series X and a lot of game systems with that kind of money, even at the scalping prices. I know they're going for like a thousand piece on eBay, so you can probably get like 16 of them on eBay with scalping prices. So you can get quite a bit. So this is the story right here. So like I said, it says six-year-old George Johnson wrecked up more than $16,000 in Apple Store charges for his favorite game, Sonic Forces. His mom was in shock. So I'm just going to skim through the story here. So it was like she was working from home while he did it. And it started with add-on boosters from $1.99 all the way up to $99. And she got 25 charges totaling $2,500. It looks like from there on, he just kept racking up $562 here, another $601 from her Chase account. She, thought it, she pretty much thought it was a mistake, so she didn't know there were legitimate charges, but unfortunately they were. Let's see what else is going on here. She filed a fraud claim when her bill got $16,293.10. And it looks like it's back in October, and Chase told her that they were hers and she needs to contact Apple. So that's pretty much the synopsis is going on. Uh, I'll put the story in the link if you guys want to come to it. I'm going to read it for yourself. But this is a lot of freaking charges. So what could she have done to prevent that? But well, I also want to cut this video out. So what can you do to prevent your child from racking up these kinds of charges? So I'm going to go ahead and get to that. So what you can do. So here is something on, I'm going to do cover both the Google um, Android and iPhones. So for on Google Play Store, you can set up purchase approval settings. In order to do that, you can go to your Android phone, go to the Play Store app. In the top left menu, you want to type account, family, manage family members. You can type a family member name, tap purchase approvals, and then select all content, only pay content, and that purchase or no approval required. So this is how you can set up approval settings on your Android phone. You can also, if you're a parent in a family group, you can approve or deny um, requests from content group play. And when purchases are complete, completed, the family manager gets an email receipt. So you will be notified if something does happen to go through or something gets approved. And let's see, it's also when they make a purchase, it's going to ask them for a password. You can remove request, request, and then you can approve it with the password, and then you just tap approve. That's pretty much it. So this is family member settings. If you want to say so your child has, you want to give your child their own phone, you can add them, set up a family member, and then you can set this up right here to set up purchase approvals so you can avoid those $16,000 in charges. <laughs> and here's another way through Android, you could turn uh, require password authentication for purchases to turn authentication off on, on off on the phone. Click this little drop down. I also click those link, these links in the description so you guys can get to them. So just open the Google Play Store app, go to settings, and then tap require authentication for purchases. Choose a setting and then follow on screen instructions. So you can set that up. And here's some other uh, here's some other authentication settings you can set up with with Google Assistant if you're using a Google speaker like Google Home, Google Home Mini, or whatever. Or if you're using like me, you're using a Google Home router. You can do it for your Chromebook. Fingerprint on select devices, Android TV, and the Google Play Store, and any other devices other than through googleplay.com. So this is a simple settings you can change the setup so it can help prevent those kind of purchases. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the iPhone. So on iPhone to, re to prevent iTunes app store purchases, you can also prevent your child from being able to install or delete apps to make in-app purchases and more. So in-app purchases, you wanna go to settings, tap screen time, content privacy restrictions, Type iTunes app store purchases, choose a setting and set to don't allow, or you can say, or here's the things right here, you can say always require or don't require in that purchases, don't allow. <laughs> so these are just some things that you can do to help prevent charges like that. That's quite a bit of money that she has to pay. Like I said, Chase said they were valid. Apple won't be refunded them. 
So you don't want to get caught in that situation. Um, you also can do um, two-step verification, which I'll cover that in another video. That way you get a um, text message with a code, so you can set that up on both. Either. You can set that up on iPhones, I know, which I get it every time I set up. I'm signing into another device, it um, asks me to enter a uh, verification code, so that way, because I have some, I got my iPod account hot once, some Japanese purchases got made. They were, I couldn't even read the apps, but they're only a couple of dollars, so Apple will gladly refund them as soon as I call them. And that's another thing, you want to call them on the day it happens, or the same day you're notified, because if you wait and wait and wait, the longer you wait, the less you're going to get those charged, less, the less of a chance you're going to get those charges refunded. So that's why I wanted to cover today. I'm going to put all these links in my description below so you guys can go and check it out on how you can set these up so you can prevent your child from making these unauthorized purchases and blow up your bank account to $16,000. Like I said, that's a lot of money. I don't know about you, but that's not the kind of money I want to spend, nor do I have in my account to pay those kind of charges. And apparently neither does this lady because um, if you read the story, she, she says you're going to have to work overtime and do a lot of a lot of work to get those charges paid off. So that's it. I hope this video helped you out today. I want to thank everybody for coming in and watching my video. Um, my channel's been growing. Um, I want to come here and do a lot more things. Is there something you might want to see on the channel? Let me know in the comments below what you might want to see here on the channel. I'm thinking about doing something called Old School Tech Thursday. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know that. So I'm just trying to see what you guys might want to see on the channel so I can make that kind of content, make those kind of videos. So any suggestions, ideas, or anything you want to see me do more of on the channel, just let me know in the comments. And again, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got something about this video, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to me. Hit the, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So that's all I got for now. And I hope everybody has a great holiday and Merry Christmas. Hope everybody get what they want for Christmas and they've been good. Set up brains on good gifts. So that's all we got for now. I want to thank everybody for watching. Bye for now.